The shooting and the life-threatening injuries uh, that Robert Fico, the Prime Minister of Slovakia, has sustained today just recently uh, are probably one of those where was I when moments. And certainly uh, Fico, who has been Prime Minister before, uh, is well known to uh, observers and voters in Slovakia and around Europe, and well known as somebody who emulates and uh, so tr tries tries to um, tries to outshine Viktor Orban uh, in Hungary um, to occupy a more friendly uh, position with respect to Russia, to be more gung ho, to emulate Mr. Trump in so many ways. And his return to power last year uh, has certainly prompted concerns in his own country and elsewhere. But the bullet is not the way to change policies. And uh, there, were, there were decisions, there were decisions that were trying to um, replace um, the uh, broadcasters and to and 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 to um, effectively make the uh, the the, the um, independent broadcasting system more political and more a voice of the prime minister, and that was being resisted. So there were certainly political uh, undercurrents of concern. Um, about his premiership, but nothing can justify an assassin's bullet. And uh, he, uh, he, he has a very colourful past, I, all, all the way from uh, a, a doctoral thesis on capital punishment and then working... Uh, for sciences um, and uh, working heavily with the independence movements uh, after the fall of the Berlin Wall, um, joining the democratic left, founding SMEAR, uh, the Social Democratic Party, and um, being successful. Being a being a very successful politician, but a successful uh, sort of um, being known in Europe, being a uh, buddying around with the big wigs in Europe for years, he's been a prominent political power in the center of Europe, and uh, a, a thorn in the side certainly. But he's been successful. And his present position, trying to stop military aid for Kyiv, uh, criticizing the sanctions on Russia, well, you know, he's not alone there. I also criticize the sanctions on Russia. Uh, the threats to veto um, any form of NATO invitation to participate um, further in the defense of Ukraine and to invite NATO and to invite Ukraine to be part of NATO. Uh, all of this he is determined to resist. Um, but it's not a reason to shoot somebody. It's not a reason to to bring in the bullet. The politics is supposed to be there as an alternative to the bullet. This is a lesson which... Um, you know, it's it, it, it's a lesson that uh, Hamas needs to learn. It's a lesson that Netanyahu needs to learn. It's a lesson, ultimately, that even Putin needs to learn. And should he learn it, a transformation can occur. A Damascene moment is always possible. But not. Not when somebody's been gunned down. That's It stops the conversation dead, doesn't it? This is an appalling story.